Uh, hello everyone. Uh, today is 22nd of April. What does it mean? It means that tomorrow is a very special day for the people of Catalonia. 23rd of April, San Jordi or Saint George Day. That is uh, like a Catalan equivalent uh, for Valentine's Day. A day of rose and a book. And so San Jordi or Saint George Day, it's a day of exchanging gifts. The men receive a book and the women receive roses or something else. It depends on the men. Um, on these days, we usually have uh, streets full of people. There are a lot of uh, stalls with books, with roses, and you are looking for, for something interesting, a book, a rose, something else for the beloved ones, uh, for your family members, for your friends. What we are going to do now, we are going to read you the legends we collected during the project. Legends of different regions, legends of different countries. And of course, what we are going to do uh, from the very beginning, we are going to start with some Jordi legend. Are you here? I am here, yes. Great, okay. Mm. St. George and the Dragon. A legend has it that in a cave near a small village named Mont Blanc, there lived a dragon which terrorized the townsfolk. Every day, villagers were forced to give their cattle to feed the dragon until the day came when they ran out of animals to feed the beast. Eventually, they came up with a solution. They would have to draw every day in the village's main square with the names of all the inhabitants to decide who would be sacrificed as food for the dragon. One day it was the princess's name that came out of the drawer and despite the great sadness of the king and all the villagers she set off to encounter the dragon. When the princess was about to be devoured by the animal a handsome knight St George appeared riding his horse and with his sharp sword confronted the dragon its life to an end. This legend tells us that from the blood spilt from the dragon a rose bush was born and the knight took the most beautiful flower to give it to the princess to show his love. That was that was a legend in English. Helen, thank you very much. <laughs> was it okay? Could you hear me? Perfect, perfect, Helen. Would you like Would you like to listen to this legend in Catalan? Yes, very much. We decided that if tomorrow is twenty third of April, San Jordi Day, it should be written in Catalan. And we have Julia, the best term reader of the <laughs> of the legends in Catalan. Julia, you are welcome. Okay, la llegenda de San Jordi. Fa molts anys, al voltant de la vila de Montblanc, hi havia un drac que tenia tots els habitants atemorits. Els vilatans es veien obligats a donar una part del seu bestiar per alimentar el drac. Va arribar un moment que els animals es van acabar, així que els vilatans es van veure obligats a decidir que serien ells mateixos qui servirien d'aliment pel monstre. Per mala sort, va arribar el dia que va tocar la princesa ser la víctima del drac. El rei, un home just i fidel a les decisions del poble, va acceptar i va deixar la seva filla a la vora d'on habitava la vesta. Quan la princesa era a punt de ser devorada pel drac, va aparèixer un valent cavaller, Sant Jordi, qui, amb la seva filada espasa, va plantar-li cara i va lluitar fins a matar-lo. La llegenda diu que de la sang que va sortir del drac va brotar una bonica rosa, que Sant Jordi va oferir com a mostra d'amor a la princesa. Des de llavors, el 23 d'abril a Catalunya, recordem aquesta data regalant roses a les persones que estimem. Molt bé, gràcies. Gràcies, Julia. Um, and, and that was la llegenda de Sant Jordi en català. The last sentence, remember, tomorrow, 23rd of April, you have to give, uh, to present a rose to someone whom you love. Um, it can be... Uh, the beloved one, it can be your family member, whoever. Remember, tomorrow a rose. <clears throat> and that's, that's all about San Jordi and what we are going to do, we are moving to Italy.